As the murky oil continues to wash ashore, scientists at sea are racing to measure the spill's effects in the heart of the Gulf, the deep waters. Vernon Asper of the University of Southern Mississippi is part of a team of government-funded scientists tracking what researchers believe is a single massive plume extending 10 to 15 miles wide, some 3,300 feet below the surface. We need to know how much oil is down there. We need to know where it's going. We need to know what is happening to it because we're interested in finding out the long-term fate of all of this oil. We want to know what the total impact is going to be. Today, BP said its underwater cleanup is working, that the 700,000 gallons of dispersant used so far are breaking down the oil. We're talking about oil measured in parts per billion, very minute. Asper believes diluting the oil into those tiny droplets allows naturally occurring bacteria to more easily feed on it, eventually eliminating the underwater crude. If there's nothing poisonous in there, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But ocean conservationists fear that bacteria is depleting oxygen in the Gulf. And separately, they worry the floating mix of chemicals could prove deadly for marine life. If you think of these, these gigantic toxic plumes in the ocean, it's, it's almost like you have a bird trying to fly through a toxic cloud. Asper and his team set out this afternoon on a three-day research expedition, a brief mission to help understand the long-term impact on the Gulf's deep waters. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.